Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to the Kolima Forest in Let's Play Golden Sun! We are here to do things to trees. Um, yeah, that, that pretty much sums it up. But first, oh boy, yeah. This right here. Wait, a bee? Oh yeah, I bought a new rod for Ivan. It's the witches! Actually, is it a rod? Do not to show you. It is the witch's wand. Which is significantly more powerful than what he had before. Which, speaking of, Isaac now has what he had before. Here's the reasoning behind this. In Golden Sun, a weapon with an unleash is substantial. Even a crappy unleash, like this one, is substantially more powerful than a weapon without one. Therefore, if you have two weapons, one has an unleash and the other one is slightly more powerful, as was the case with this and Isaac's previous sword, the w weapon with the unleash actually does more damage on average than it would if you took the weapon without one. Now, the exception to this is when you have a weapon that is massively more powerful. Like, if I could afford that other sword that was on sale in Babadil, like the one that cost a thousand gold, that would probably be better than, to have on than the bandit sword. Even compared to Beric's axe, it's probably better to keep him with the axe. Although, this is a... Although the axe and the bandit sword are probably close to each other, the bandit sword, does, as I said before, has a really shitty unleash, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, so now that I've explained that, this area is kind of really, really lousy for log puzzles. Um, all the log puzzles. Just, you don't want to know is how bad. <laughs> I hope it doesn't poison me, because I'm pretty sure that can poison me, and I don't actually have, um, I don't have Cure Poison yet. Oh, oh well, I guess. Hmm, anyway, let's just keep going, I suppose. The good news is, I don't think the bees can poison me anymore. At least not those particular bees. I'm certain there's bees at some point in this game that poison you anyway. What they do do... Do do. Do 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 do. What they do do is stun you. Which I already did to a bee, so you saw that what that hap does. What the stun actually... Oops. That's my own fault. Um... What stunning something actually does is it makes it so they can't act right away, which you already saw. Then each turn they have a chance for to fall out of stun. Or you can just use like an item or an ability to cure it, but... Oh hey, I got Volcano! As I recall, Volcano is basically the same thing as Isaac's Spire. Higher damage, single target. Um, unless I misremember, which you know is always a possibility. Um... Okay, uh, this isn't too bad yet. Yet. It'll get worse. Okay. Do that and do not push this. And, oh, is there something... no. And, hello, monsters. Would you like another? Another death. Yeah, that's what I thought. How about Flare Wall? That qualifies, right? Eh, close enough. Mystic Flame. I wonder if that does anything else. Hmm. Oh, should have attacked the skeleton with Isaac, I guess. Oh well. Oh well, it's it's a minor. 
Oh hey, I got Plasma. Plasma is the next stage of the Ray line of Synergy. Just, well, that's what it is. So, that's probably my strongest Synergy right now, actually. Probably. Probably. Um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, this is starting to look familiar. And also frustrating. Oi. Oi. Let's see, I need to push you there, then- oh. No, that's not right at all. Um, okay, I see. Do not push this down. We want to push that there. Then we want to push this here. And this down here. Although we don't really need to move this one, but... Uh, oh, yeah, actually we did, because we needed to go through here. And then around, and then do this. I'm glad I remember that one. And hey, there's the bridge. It's out. Okay. Now then, I could have sworn there were some boxes in this forest part, but I obviously not. Then again, it keeps on going, so oh hey, this looks like there's a dam somewhere. Yes, yes, I'm pretty sure there is. Um, obviously, we can't move that log yet. Is there anything over here? Uh, sort of? Okay, I need to move that. I need to get over there, and... Do not touch floodgate switch. Touch the floodgate switch? Don't mind if I do, uh, after I look up here. Ah, so close. Yeah, I think you can figure out what we need to do here. I'm pretty sure you can. But, well, we're about to do it, so if you can't, well... You're about to run out of time to guess. Oops. No, that, that was not actually correct. We want this open, because then the water is gone, and we can go down here. And when we go down here, we can push the logs. And that's basically all we're doing. Um, I need you there. Let's see. That will let me move that, but I won't be able to jump onto here, so... The trick is we want to get over here. I'm trying to remember how to do that. Um... Okay, I, okay, I think I remember. We need to push this one, and this one. And then we push this. Way over there. Then we push this back down. And then we move this over here. And then we put this one down. Uh, Wait, did I just... No, okay, and then we push this back to where it was. And huzzah! We can get the box. I don't... I'm... Hmm. I don't remember what's in this box. I want to say it is a weapon. And this sort of puzzle is fairly typical of the kind of thing that we... Of the kind of puzzles we're going to need to solve later on as well. Uh, they'll get more difficult to figure out. Mind you, it helps a lot. I remembered how to solve this puzzle. If I didn't, well, you'll see later on. Let's put it that way. I don't remember how to solve all the puzzles in this game. It is a fur coat! So, you know, it's a artifact, just not the artifact I thought it was. Can anyone use this? Yes. Okay. This resists water. So I'm going to give it to Garrett because he, as a, as a fire adept, has the worst um, water resistance. Although Ivan could probably use the defense, but... Uh, yeah, now his... Hmm. Now, I think that increased his resistance by 20. Which is good, you know, because he's kind of weak, well, yeah, because he's kind of weak against water. Like, 
the resistances listed here are not really completely accurate in terms of uh, so far as resistances go. Ivan will take more damage from a Earth uh, synergy. Isaac will take more from wind, and Garrett will take more from water, regardless of what this stuff says. Like this is used as part of the calculation for the damage it de deals, whether it's weak or resistant to it. That's sort of factored in separately. At least that's how I think it works. I might just be blowing... Um, I may be incorrect, but I don't think I am. Um, I, okay, this is what I was talking about earlier with it being annoying to interact with certain things. Because some things are sort of round and you sort of glance off to the side when you want to interact with it. Anyway, now we need to fix this to how it was before so we can actually progress. So, you know, let's do that. Um, yeah. Oh, that's hot. Still too hot. Push it. At, oops. Damn it. Oh, well. Push that back up, I guess. Now push that. Now it goes down. And now this goes back over. That took a while. I mean, I don't really think it's a bad thing if the puzzles take a little bit longer. Although, for the purpose of a video, it could be a little bit annoying. Like, for me, that is. Because puzzles can be a little bit time-consuming in this game. But for the purpose of playing, it's perfectly fine. Right? Like, the battles in this game, in Golden Sun, for the most part, are, I think, just the right length. They, they are, sometimes they're really quick, but only when you overpower things. And they're never too, they are never really too long. And hey, it's a tree with a face! Who are you? Oh, you're the ones who resisted Trent Scalamor. I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Trent, you are already too late. Soon, Trent will die, and we shall wither away without him. Leave now, before this forest is destroyed. Um... No? It's a troll! Okay, the troll is probably the first enemy we've encountered that can actually really screw you up. Uh, let me rephrase that. That can really screw Ivan up. It has a lot of HP, it regenerates. Um, it can hit pretty damn hard. It didn't that time. But, you know, it can. Now then. Now then. Unresponsive, eh? Harum! He will not speak to you, child! I control all in Tret's realm! Okay then. That's interesting. Okay then, actually I wonder, back over here for a second, hmm, where have I seen this before? Let's test it out, our new synergy, uh, and you can attack him, and you can use fire. Hmm. That didn't really kill as many things as I was hoping it would, to be honest. Oh well. Now, I just want to try this. The healing waters of the Mercury Lighthouse m might save Trent. But the fountain's waters have long since dried up. 
Hmm, interesting. Didn't we need to go to the Mercury right Lighthouse? Mercury Right House? Rot Row? Um, anyway, we are gonna climb the vine, because it's here, so. Seems like the thing to do. Tret Tree. Okay, so I'm gonna warn you right off the bat. This is probably the first area where things can freaking kill you if you let them. Like, Tret as a dungeon is kind of scary. Particularly with the boss at the end. Um, actually, it's just can party wipe you if you're unprepared for it. That said, I am prepared for it, and I have a special plan in mind for dealing with it. Which I will bring up um, when we get to it. We, we, aren't, we aren't there yet. But, you know, we're getting there. We are getting there. Oh, something I could, should mention now, though. If you are having trouble through this area, something you can do that can be very helpful is if you give a one of these guys to Ivan, uh, Ivan will gain... Oh, hey, Bolt and Flash Bowl. I forgot about that. But more importantly, he will learn Cure. Which on Ivan is useful on Ivan because Ivan has nearly double Isaac's synergy. Um, I personally am not doing that, but if you're having trouble in this area, it is a good idea because, well, it literally doubles the, your healing power. Um, of course, there is one alter other alternative for dealing with this area that also ha has a similar result, which is actually the one I'm planning on doing. It's a little bit more complicated, but, well, considering the time on this episode, I'll probably explain it next time what the plan is, but, well, you'll see. Okay, we want to jump across here. Notice that these break under our feet when we jump on them. If you jump on a broken one, it'll collapse and you'll fall to the floor below you. So, you know, watch out for that. There's actually several places where you want to fall because you can get treasure and stuff if you do. Uh, but not yet. Okay, and more vines! Climbing and where's the thing I want? There's one thing in particular in this tree that I very much am interested in, and... Wait, what's in that box? What is in the... I want to say it is a healing item. But, uh, well, I guess we'll find out when I get over there. Is that a spider in the web? Nice touch. Anything over here? No! Okay, you see, this is what I'm talking about. This thing... This sort of setup can freaking kill you. Okay, I guess Plasma is, well, it's basically the same thing as Ray. Anyway. Um... But yeah, this combination is deadly. Uh, actually, you can attack the Rat Warrior because you are gonna use Volcano on the Troll! And it's dead. And, of course, you were defending. Like, I took that out pretty efficiently, but, well, first of all, um, I wouldn't say I'm not overleveled, but I am well leveled. I'm not underleveled at, at even a little bit right now. If I was underleveled, the thing I just fought would have could have dealt a massive amount of damage to me. Like, enough to have to heal, like, one or two people after, after the battle. Uh, you know, sure, let's go for it. Oh, it was a healing ring! That's completely different. That's the one that... yeah, it's a use thing. I don't even know if this does anything if I equipped it. 
Hmm. Well, let's put it on... Wait, wait. Number of uses might break if used in battle. Okay, th this is one of those pieces of equipment that it can break if you use it. It just casts heal on you, but it's sort of useful to have. Um, I don't think it actually... Well, I'll know when I get into my next battle, but it might give you regeneration in battle. Like, just a small amount of HP regeneration, or it might do nothing. I don't know which one. I I'll find out momentarily. And Volcano! And the answer is... It does not have HP regen. It only, it only is useful for the active ability. Okay then. And I think I already explained how the breaking items thing works. Basically, you, you use it and it's a chance to break, and if it breaks, you need to bring it to a Septon to repair it. Or no, not a Septon, you need to bring it to a weapon shop to repair it. Or any shop works, really, but... Creepers! These may look similar, but trust me when I say they aren't. Um, they are kind of a problem. Is what they are, actually. At least I think they are. I might be getting the mix up with something else. No, no, I wasn't. I was not. They are problems. Um, yeah, that, that happened. Oh, that was suboptimal. That was really suboptimal. Should have used Volcano, and wow, I need to heal Ivan. Um, cure and attack. Oh, okay, or just kill it. And as you can see, my average um, money gain is way higher than it was before. Which is, you know, nice. Uh, that's just Synergy Stone, which as you probably already know, just, you know, heals your... It restores your Synergy if I go and grab it. Which I'm not going to do, because I don't want to fall down again. Um, let's see, okay, I could go over there, but I think this is the branch I want. I just really want to find it before the, the thing, there's just one thing I really want, and I want to get it, you know, uh, I, wait, unless it's on this branch, it is, it's the Ginny, so I'm gonna just save. This is what I was after, the second uh, wind genie, Ju Jupiter genie even. And am I fully healed? Good, because it is gonna hopefully won't run away and I just need to blow the shit out of it, pretty much. Let's see, use, do I want to use flint this turn? Because I want to sort of kill, I want to kill it with flint if I can, but it, because it is definitely weak against our earth. And let's use Forge. Yeah. Okay, and summon Jupiter. Use Flint and summon Mars. And... Okay, wind power raised by 10. What that means is my, for this, until the end of this battle, my wind power, well, has been increased. So all wind synergy I use will be more effective. All summons work this way, and higher level summons increase it by more. Just sidetracked there, but I don't think I've explained that yet. Uh, damn it, that didn't kill it. This probably will. Oh well, I don't really need the XP boost, so it's not really that big a deal. Just keep blasting it, I guess. Uh, Volcano! This will this turn will probably kill it, actually. 
Oh yeah, that did. I must have just been barely short. I've actually had this kill- I've actually had this particular Ginny kill people before, and had to like run way back to town just to get them back alive. Like, of all Ginny, this is probably the one that bothers me the most just because I have bad memories of it. I think it's even a pretty good Ginny. Um, boost resistance, yeah, it's pretty good. And Ivan learns impact when he turns into a magician, cool. Impact is a buff synergy that just increases your... It basically does the same thing as Forge, except for only one party member, is the easy way to explain it. And... What is the... Wait, uh... No. Damn it. I don't... There should be a set all button. You know, whatever. I'm way over time, so... Until next time, I'm gonna do this. What? You're retreating? Why are you retreating? Well, because I'm gonna do a bit of sequence breaking. Sort of. Anyway, we were given the hint by the other tree that the Mercury Lighthouse has a, a water source that can heal Trent. Well, if we go to the Mercury Lighthouse first, that the Merc Mercury Lighthouse isn't actually much harder than this dungeon. In fact, if anything, it is easier. At least if you do it in order, it's probably easier. If you do it out of order, it's about the same difficulty. However, we get something from the Mercury Lighthouse besides the water itself. Uh, because that's obviously there. I mean, they wouldn't tell us about it if it wasn't, right? That is extre- that is extremely helpful for this place, and makes it a much easier task to complete. So, with that said, now that I have my Ginny, I will see you next time when we head for the Mercury Lighthouse. Um, which, if you think about it, you can probably guess where it is. So until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.